I'm an A B cup on a good day, and it's still barely keeping the girls in. Super open back. Obviously, that's my preference. I prefer it as tiny as possible. So just go ahead and scrunch that in there. You might recognize me from Instagram, TikTok, or Snapchat, but today we're back on the YouTube channel and I am so excited to be getting into this brand new series I'm doing where I'm reviewing all of the most hyped Instagram swimwear brands. We're starting with two brands today, which is both Bomba Swim and Frankie's Bikinis. So I have six swimsuits from Bomba Swim and four from Frankie's. I bought these all with my own money over Black Friday. And I have a whole bunch of other brands that I'll be reviewing in the upcoming week. So stay tuned for that. I post every Sunday at 10 a.m. PST. So you can subscribe to see more of me here. Let's go ahead and get into today's video, starting with Bomba Swim, which is what I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing the Fara top in an extra small in the color citrus, and then the Amore bottom, also in an extra small in the color citrus. Here is the detailing up close. I'm obsessed with this gorgeous pattern. I think it's so like tropical and summery and kind of retro in a really cute, cool way. I think the top is very flattering, but even on a smaller chest size, I find that I'm constantly pulling it up. It feels like it's falling down really easily. I do think you can tie this tie around the neck for more support if you want, or tie these around the neck. So it's a nice versatility, which is great. As far as the bottoms, obsessed with those. They're super tiny, minimal coverage, and you can kind of scrunch them out for a little bit more coverage if you want. But either way, they're very minimal, which I really like, so great for tanning in. It fits really well around the waist and kind of sits high over the hips, so I think it's super flattering as well. I really like this one. On sale, the set was still over $100, so really expensive, but it's a really cute pattern at least. Here's the next set from Bomba Swim. It is the Maverick Bottom in the color Cherry in a size extra small. And then the top is the Ursula top. Again, in cherry in a size extra small. I really, really love this set. The color is so cute, and these bottoms are so flattering. I love the, like, cross in the waist here and how it sits high on the hip. I think it's so, like, waist accentuating. And then the back is also really flattering. It's not, like, super, super tiny, but it's definitely small, so love that and this maroon color is just super cute the top however i do need to size up in so i'm going to keep the tags on it and exchange it for a size small and i would definitely keep that in mind that you should size up in the top because i'm an a b cup on a good day and it's still like barely keeping the girls in so definitely size up in these strapless styles from bottom of swim but otherwise i think they're super cute again you're looking at over a hundred dollars for the set in total so definitely on the pricey side but really cute, nice luxury swimwear. Cuts I find to be super unique. I love how the like scrunch cross here matches the like crisscross detailing across the top here. It's just like I said, you can see it's like barely covering anything. So yeah, definitely size up in this. Okay, the next set that we have is the Malibu top in reef in a size small, and then the Amore bottom also in reef in a size small. So a size up from the last two sets that we saw. It's cute, but I definitely feel like I prefer a size extra small on the bottoms. I think I prefer like less fabric back here. <laughs> Personally, just like my bottoms very tiny. And then I don't know how I feel about how the reef print for the top having so much blue in it, and then the bottoms not. I don't know if it's like mismatch or like not super coordinated in like a cute way or a weird way. So I'm not particularly sure how I feel about that. I do love the color pattern in the top though, and I think it's really cute, really flattering. I think that the small top is definitely the best fit for me. I just don't really like the small bottom. I think the extra smalls fit a little bit better in the Amore style that we saw in the first set. Like I said, these colors are really retro and fun, and I like how retro their styling is. It's super cute. I'm just like not in love with this one. I'll probably return it. I do like the top a lot though. Here is the next Bomba Swim set. This is the Jagger Bottom in Monet in an extra small, and then the Bella Bra in Monet in an extra small as well. So common theme throughout Bomba Swim, I think the extra small top is just a little too small on me. I feel like it looks like I'm kind of 
busting out of it. It doesn't really fit that good. But I do love the bottoms, once again, and the extra small. So might exchange this top, or I might just return the whole set because I don't know if I love this muted purple on me. It's not really my color of choice. I just really wanted to try this bottom style. But yeah, overall, I think it's cute. Maybe like a 6 out of 10. So I'll probably just return it considering all these sets are over $100. I feel like I have to love them in order to keep them. I do love how tiny the back of these bottoms are. I think that they're very cute and flattering. So yeah, there's some pluses and minuses. But I think I'll just go ahead and return this one since it's not an absolute love. And I have way too many swimsuits to hold on to stuff I don't love. Next we have the Amalfi bottom in pure white and an extra small and the Rami top in pure white and an extra small. And as you can see, I tried to get a bunch of different patterns, colors, and styles so we could thoroughly review Bomba Swim. And unfortunately, this one is another miss. I do like the bottoms. I like that you can tie the sides as tight as you want. So there's some adjustability in sizing, which is really nice. There's this kind of like weird gold logo that just like hangs off. It's like stitched right here. And since it's not in the center, it just seems like unintentional and strange to me. The extra small on this top does fit really well. I think a small would be too big. So I guess there is some variation in the sizing. And I like the fit of it. I think it's like flattering and kind of a cute concept with the ties here and here. The only issue with the tie on this one for me is that this tie is a shoelace. Like it's literally cottony, like the little aglet thing at the end, like a literal shoelace. Whereas these ones are like the swim fabric. And then the one behind the neck back here is also swim fabric. So I just wish this tie in the front had been a traditional swim fabric instead of the shoelace. To me, it reads very cheap. And for a over $100 set when on sale, I don't want it to look so cheap. So for those reasons, I think I'm gonna pass on this one. It is cute. The concept is nice. I feel like I look like from a distance, a rich person on like a yacht, but up close the details just are kind of a miss for me. Here is our last Bomba swim set before moving into Frankie's bikinis. This is the Malibu top in tan drink cacao in an extra small, and then the Amore bottom, again in an extra small in tan drink cacao. So this is the same exact cut as the reef set we saw earlier, just in an extra small instead. So I'll pop up me trying this one on in the small so you can kind of see the size difference there but yeah i think the extra small is a better fit for me personally the bottoms just feel a bit more secure along the hips and i do like that it's a bit smaller in the back of course and then the top i think you can kind of go either way since it is a triangle top with adjustability around the neck and the back both the small and the extra small seem to fit me pretty well, I think. But yeah, I like this color pattern. Again, it's that retro orange and brown chevron look, which is super cute and unique. And yeah, I think I'll keep this one. It's a good fit, a good basic, like staple triangle bikini. Can't go wrong with that. So yeah, I think this one is a win. Okay, moving into our first Frankie set. This is the Hope set. Both pieces are in a size extra small. I'll come up closer so you can see some of that really gorgeous detailing. I love this kind of Hawaiian floral print. And then there's this scrunch waistband, like elasticity thing. It kind of looks like a scrunchy hair tie or something, but it's super stretchy and comfy and also very flattering. I feel like it sits really well on the hips without digging in, but also like feel secure enough where it's going to stay in place, which is really nice. Again, very expensive swimsuit. Frankie's is more than Bomba Swim, so on the higher end, but if you get these on sale like I did, they're a little bit more reasonable. You're looking around 100 a set as well. The extra small in this Frankie set fits really well. The top offers a lot of coverage, especially if you unscrunch it, but Obviously, I prefer it as tiny as possible, so just go ahead and scrunch that in there. And then the bottoms are really nice. There's no adjustability as far as coverage, but it's minimal enough where I'm happy with it, so it doesn't really matter to me. The fabric is really soft and like luxury feeling. It definitely feels like you're paying a high price point for it, but it is on the pricey side. It's not adjustable around here either, but with all that stretch, it really doesn't matter too much, but it is adjustable around the neck. Here. So yeah, that's this one. Super cute. I like her. I'll definitely keep it. Next we have the Pamela Floral Jacquard one piece again in a size extra small 
And normally I'm not the biggest one piece gal for swimsuits, however, I do like them for water sports, a fuller coverage option where you're gonna be secure and locked in for like surfing and stuff, and for photos, super cute. I love this one piece, particularly because of that super open back and then the really tiny coverage up the back. Obviously that's my preference when it comes to swimsuits and especially one pieces. I also love how there's coverage along here and here, but then it's more sheer along your stomach. I think it's really cute and different. And I think that low cut along the front is really flattering. Honestly, for not being a one piece girl, this has me convinced I'm definitely gonna keep this one. I actually have been eyeing it for a while, so I was excited to snag it on sale. But yeah, I really like it. And I also don't normally wear baby pink. I think that's the only caveat to this is like I'm not really a light pink girly. I don't really think it looks the best on me, but the fit is so convincing that I'm going to keep it anyways. And I just love how flattering the back is. It's so freaking cute. This next bikini is also from the Pamela line at Frankie's. The top is the Zeus top in a size extra small. And the bottoms are the Westward bottom in a size extra small. I love this print. The yellow with these dainty little flowers is so like girly and feminine, but in a way that I really like. I love light yellow, it's so cute. And I love it especially on a tan, like this color in the summer I would especially love. My only caveat is I think these bottoms are just a little much, a little bit too full coverage, a little bit too full coverage in the back as well. Like I kind of wish they went like that, I don't know. I just feel like they're not the most flattering thing ever, but maybe I'm overthinking it. So comment down below if you like this swimsuit, but as of now, the mentality is this will be returned considering, like I said, these are very expensive swimsuits. So gotta love them in order to keep them. I like the little frillies. Like, I think it's a cute concept. I just don't know that it's the certain je ne sais quoi for me. Here is the last bikini of the day. This is the Penelope top and the Sophia bottom. I'm obsessed with this maroon burgundy color on me again, similar to that colorway we saw earlier from Bomba, and I really like it on me. And I know that this top is on the more full coverage side, which is a bit different for me, but I really like it. And I think if you're going to the beach and you have like a daytime activity after, you could just throw some jean shorts over these bottoms and call it a day. Like this makes a cute summery top, especially if you tie it a little bit tighter so it's a little bit more coverage. Super cute, and if you're tanning topless anyways, then so easy, it works, because these bottoms are very tiny and cute. I love how tiny they are on the back. I think they're super flattering. This like ruffle detailing is so, so cute. And I just love this little top. So this is also an extra small. So I would say across the board from Frankie's, their sizing is pretty consistent, where all the extra smalls seem to fit me pretty well. Whereas Bamba, there's some hit or misses as far as small, extra small, whatever the case. When I used to shop Frankie's back in college, I felt like it wasn't super consistent with sizing. Like the extra smalls were sometimes really big or really small. But today I find them to be very consistent, which is nice and rare from a bikini brand. But anyways, that concludes today's haul. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And I'll see you next week at 10 a.m. PST on Sunday so that we can get into some more bikini brands that I'm excited to show you guys. Say bye, friends.